Well, hello, beautiful souls. It's your girl, Jane, coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be all about the spring perfumes that I cannot wait to wear. So if you guys are interested in seeing what fragrances are on my list, then go ahead and just keep on watching. So if you're new to my channel, hello again. My name is Jeanne, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so, so much for clicking back on to another video. I truly, truly appreciate you guys' support. So if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and join the family and give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos from moi. Now let's hop right in. Starting off with today's lip combo, I am wearing Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat in the shade Hollywood Honey, along with a new lipstick. So this is from Shein, actually. This is the Us Like Lipstick in the shade, I think, number two. It's like a plushy liquid lipstick, but it doesn't dry completely matte. It kind of transfers a little bit, but I really like it. And I like that like pouty, powdery type of look it gives. But these two together, I thought was really cute with the blue, like a gay vibes. The hair is from Icy Hair, and I did a little collaboration with them on TikTok. Dang, train whatever, we gonna keep on going. I did a collaboration with them on TikTok, so if I have a link, I will leave it down below, but I'm feeling this hair, like I'm really feeling it, like the 24 inches, the middle part, the straight hair, it's a vibe, it's a vibe. I told y'all I was gonna be switching it up on y'all, so be ready for like a get ready with me really soon with a new look. It's gonna be a short bob, I'm so excited. It's gonna be hair, makeup, fragrance, outfit, all of that, so stay tuned for that video. I'm gonna be filming that on Friday because it's gonna be date night. So anyway, let's get into the first fragrance. Actually, it's a layering combo. And this portion of the video is in collaboration with Clean Reserve, okay? They just came out with a brand new fragrance called Spring Breeze. And when I tell you this is spring in a bottle, this is literally happiness. When I smelled this fragrance for the first time, it made me smile. There's something about this that's very fresh and clean, but it's also very warm and cozy at the same time. It's aromatic, it's a little fruity, it's musky. It has a little bit of a woody touch in there. So this fragrance opens up with some bergamot along with some green apple and then you get some aldehydes. And normally I'm not an aldehydic type of person, like I don't like aldehydes in a fragrance, but with this, it adds this brightness to the fragrance and it really plays well with that musk. And then when the fragrance starts to dry down, you get that lily of the valley, you get some lavender and you get that jasmine. So I think the lavender really adds to that like calming effect, that warm, soothing effect, that aromatic quality. But the lily of the valley and the jasmine really makes this fragrance springtime ready. It's fresh, it's watery, it's fun. It's really uplifting and youthful. And then in the deep dry down, that's where you get that orange blossom that sandalwood and that musk so for me personally this is absolutely gorgeous I really really love wearing this fragrance this is my scent of the day layered with this next fragrance that I'm gonna talk about but this by itself is definitely spring in a bottle this does smell like a spring breeze but I layered it with apple blossom and I absolutely love apple blossom this to me is a gorgeous sweet fruity floral fragrance it is just so juicy it's so mouth-watering you get this watery touch to it as well a little bit of muskiness this fragrance opens up with some apple, some pear, and some grapefruit, so you get a little bit of a tang, but you also get that juicy nuance from the pear, and you get that apple note. And then as the fragrance dries down, you start to get those fresh and watery florals like Frisia and Peony. You also get some jasmine in this fragrance as well. And then in the deep dry down, you get some amberwood and you get some musk. So to me, these two together pair perfectly. I smell so good. I think apple blossom takes spring breeze into more of that fruitier category versus it going more in that clean, fresh, musky floral realm. So yeah, love these two together. And the final fragrance with Spring Breeze is gonna be Rain from the Classic line. This is a clean, fresh, watery fragrance. It has this like dewy aspect, it's musky, it's floral. It's absolutely beautiful. I personally feel like this is the type of fragrance that I would wear if I'm doing like an outdoor workout. This isn't something I typically gravitate towards. I personally am not a fan of this on the everyday, but if I I am doing something outdoorsy like hiking or something like that this gives me that vibe this smells like dewy grass to me and I love the way that that smells but personally me smelling like it isn't my most favorite thing however layering rain and spring breeze this is absolutely stunning this is spring this is a spring morning think of a dewy spring morning 
morning that's what this combination smells like for me personally i feel like the notes of rain doesn't really explain what rain smells like a dewy morning like dewy grass in the morning it smells like the air the crisp fresh clean air i actually prefer to wear rain with spring breeze so from now on this will probably be like my dynamic duo for me to wear rain because wearing rain on its own is not really my cup of tea this combination is going to get me to wear rain a lot and especially for the springtime this is gorgeous so all three of these are absolutely incredible my favorite out of these three personally is apple blossom as you can tell my dent i love this scent but layering these together is a beautiful option and this combo here spring breeze with rain was a very very pleasant surprise so yeah absolutely love these check out the link in the description box if you guys are interested and if not thank you for listening again thank you clean reserve for partnering with me on this portion of the video so let's go ahead and get into the next fragrance that i am so excited to wear for the springtime y'all i did a dedicated review on this fragrance and i am just so excited to pull this out because i've kind of been craving it lately this is cloud pink from ariana grande this is a sweet musky creamy fruity fragrance it literally smells like the original cloud with fruitiness i have a whole dedicated review on this scent so i'm not going to go into details about the notes or longevity or anything like that but this is just such a fun fruity floral fragrance it has gourmand touches but i wouldn't consider this to be gourmand it's just such a pretty scent and it just reminds me of like spring summer fun easy going just a very easy fragrance to throw on and go and for me I just I don't know I just really really enjoy this scent like this is just such a good scent to me and I'm so excited to pull this out and wear it it just makes me feel so feminine and happy and girly and flirty like this is a flirty fragrance to me it's just something that I can just throw it on and not think about it and I know I smell good and this is a compliment getter because it's just so easy it's easy to wear where you don't really have to think about it and I think it's just crowd pleasing and there's nothing wrong with that like people just like the way it smells because it smells good so yeah Ariana Grande's cloud pink so excited to wear this and let me know what your thoughts are on this if you want to see my dedicated review on this I'll leave it up in the eye in the sky but I really do like this one this one I had to stop wearing I think I got this in December or was it January whenever it was sent to me I had to stop wearing it because I'm like I need to save this this is sweet flowers from Montal I need to spray this on a card but oh this scent right here Ooh, now this is gonna be more of like date night, nighttime for me for the spring. It could be daytime, but I live in the South and right now it's in the high 70s, low 80s. So this in the daytime could get a little cloying, especially since I overspray. But this for the nighttime, ooh, this is gonna be super sexy. And the sillage is absolutely gorgeous on this fragrance. This is a delicious, sweet, fruity fragrance. You get a little bit of earthiness to it as well. I absolutely love this. You get notes of peach, cotton candy, you get some patchouli, some vanilla, you get some tuberose in here. I wouldn't say that this smells like velvet vanilla, but if you like velvet vanilla, I think you will really, really enjoy this one. Ooh, it's so good. It's so delicious. And for me, it's just sexy. Like if you love sweet fragrances, you would love this scent it's so sexy it's so sweet and just feminine but it's like flirty at the same time i think this is one of montal's most underrated fragrances especially if you really love sweet scents sweet flowers is that girl montal does incredible when it comes to performance and this performs beautifully on the skin the sillage is incredible it lingers on your skin for hours and hours and on your clothes for days like if you're wearing a jacket or something you're gonna have to wash it to get this scent out i absolutely love this scent and if you overspray it is going to be heavenly 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 i'm telling you so yeah beautiful scent love me some sweet flowers and i cannot wait to wear this in the springtime especially for like a date night or a night out yeah now this next one is going to be the dedicated like sophisticated effortless elegant type of scent actually these next two very effortless very easy going throw it on and go but still smell good still smell sophisticated this is miss dior from dior i think this fragrance is stunning it's fresh it's floral it's musky, it has a little bit of fruitiness to it. It's very, very easy, very pretty, very likable. This is the type of fragrance you can wear to work. 
church, brunch. This can be your signature scent. This is very easy going. It's really like no fuss about it. Just throw it on and go and you smell like you tried so hard, okay? And you just throw on a little bit of Miss Dior or the Parfum. Really, really enjoy this scent. It smells absolutely incredible in my opinion. It's so simple, so easy, but it smells so good. It smells so like elegant elevated and it lasts for a long time it performs beautifully on the skin if you wear this to work it will last you a full work shift which is something we all enjoy right <laughs> not only do you get some lily of the valley in this and you also get some rose you get some vanilla you get some tonka beans this fragrance is just the perfect balance of sweet fresh fruity floral it has all these components to it i love the muskiness that's in this scent as well so like i said this is just a perfect easy going fragrance you can just wear it year round any day anytime any occasion and you smell incredible which is something I really really enjoy about this scent so I cannot wait to wear this in the springtime especially for those days where I want to smell elevated but I still want to have like a very likable scent I think Miss Dior is the way to go so this fragrance right here is one of the most underrated fragrances from this house. I feel like more people need to talk about it. More people need to give this the hype that it deserves. This is Bouquet de Hongrie from the house of BDK. Now, this scent right here is just one of the most beautiful and elegant fruity floral fragrances, but it's fresh. It's very crisp. It has a slightly, slightly green aspect to it. I just get this very beautiful, fresh floral slightly sweet watery aspect from the scent it's absolutely beautiful i really really enjoy the opening of the scent how you get a blast of that fruitiness the pear with the black currant and the strawberry is absolutely delicious you also get some rose in this scent mm, and then the jasmine with the musk and the cedar really really pretty scent i really really enjoy this it's very 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 nice and i think that more people need to talk about it i love bdk and what they stand for i love the story behind them and this fragrance in particular is just so feminine to me it's just so classic so timeless and i think that this is perfect for the spring and summer but to me it's it leans a little bit more springtime because of how just juicy fruity and kind of spring-esque it is like i said the color of the juice is kind of like how it smells to me it's just a very light airy pink type of scent this smells like a pretty girl to me a pretty woman to me this smells like the woman next door the girl next door someone who's just very effortless and just a very kind-hearted person a very humble person that's what this fragrance smells like to me i know it's very descriptive but that's just what i get from this scent it's very very nice i really enjoy wearing this and this is the type of scent again you can wear it year round in my opinion especially if you like those like fruity floral fragrances that are a little bit more fresher a little bit more musky clean that's what you get from this scent but for me personally i love gravitating towards these type of scents in the springtime because my summertime i love my tropical florals and my tropical scents my tropical fruity scents in the springtime i love my fruity fragrances my fruity florals my watery florals i love those in the springtime i do your fragrances i love those more for the spring and this one is absolutely gorgeous yeah so this is bouquet de hongrie from bdk and yeah y'all need to get your hands on this if you haven't already and last but certainly not least, we have my favorite perfume house in my collection, but this scent in particular is not my favorite from the house, but she's up there. She's up there. This is Kasili from Parfums de Marly. This scent, wow. I think she is probably the underdog of Parfums de Marly. Like, I really don't understand why people don't talk about her. A lot of people complain about her performance, but I, I find that she performs beautifully on me. I don't know. I'm i don't know maybe because i spray a lot but this fragrance is absolutely stunning this is a beautiful warm juicy fruity floral fragrance it has muskiness it has this creamy aspect to it as well i would say if you enjoy delina exclusive but you want something like plummier um something that has like a peachy plummier type of vibe to it you would love Casili. it has that like powdery creaminess that delina exclusive has but it's not the same it's not the same at all <laughs> this fragrance opens up with some red currant you also get some rose in this fragrance along with a note of transparent flowers and then as the fragrance dries down that's where you get that plum note you also get this mimosa flower note as well and then in the base that's where you get that vanilla pod you get some sandalwood 
you get some tonka beans. So again, that's where you get that creaminess, you get that powderiness as well. I really enjoy this fragrance again. I think this is super underrated from the house and more people should talk about her because she's absolutely beautiful. The bottle is stunning, okay? The bottle is gorgeous. And for me personally on my skin, she wears so well. She kind of like wears on my skin like a blanket. She complements my body chemistry extremely well, which is something I enjoy about this scent a lot. So yeah, this is Kasili from Parfums de Marley and I absolutely love wearing her year round, but specifically in the springtime she shines so bright all right y'all so that's all i have for you today what are some fragrances that you guys cannot wait to wear in the springtime because it's feeling like spring to me already it's actually creeping up feeling like summer to me because here in the south i feel like we don't have spring it's like you get a little bit of winter and then you get summer so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video because i had so much fun making it i love you guys so so much and i will see you all in the next one